6 o'clock on this Friday morning. Thanks for spending some time with us here on Good Day. Volunteers from Dallas are in Houston to help those impacted by Hurricane Barrel. An arrest has been made in a deadly shooting in North Austin earlier this year. A Travis County jury has sentenced a woman to 18 years in prison for killing an off-duty police officer while driving while intoxicated. Cedar Park police tell us the suspect is still barricaded inside the home. Casey and Amanda, good morning to both of you. Austin police have also identified the man killed as 53-year-old John Walker. Odin. Possibly one of the world's rarest whales washes up on the shores of New Zealand. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this one goes quite a bit faster than the other one. A man accused of chasing two people with a knife in downtown Austin is now behind bars. A little more than three months after the county broke ground on a new administration building, the vision is starting to come to life. Is this something that uh, people can try at the workshop on Sunday? They sure can. Okay. As the election season ramps up, voters are scrambling to find reliable political data in real time, but it's growing more difficult as deep fakes get more complicated. The path of totality will make its way this afternoon to the northeast before exiting North America. The continent won't see another coast to coast total solar eclipse for 21 years. King of bread, Paul Hollywood from the Great British Bake Off says mm. the best place to store your bread is on your countertop. Okay. The CDC has released new data. They say backs up why many Americans are again being asked to wear a mask inside. I'm probably not nearly as graceful as some of the dancers <laughs> here, right. but they're absolutely beautiful. Now, Austin Public Health officials plan to provide an update during the Travis County Commissioner's meeting that is scheduled for 9 this morning. Four U.S. Supreme Justices will have to agree to hear the case. A response has been called for by tomorrow afternoon. With all of its outdoor activities, it's no surprise Austin is a top destination for those in health and wellness professions. Firefly Aerospace in Cedar Park is building the next spacecraft to land on the moon. Something else Council is working on this summer is, of course, the city budget, $4.5 billion, with $65 million of that going towards solving the city's homeless crisis. She sustained major, major damage to her home. First of all, Nicole, we are so happy to hear that you and your family are safe because that's what the most important thing is. Many users on TikTok commenting they've tried the drink before, even calling it the Dr. Pepper Pucker. Dr. Pepper Pucker. I wonder what it tastes like. I Sweet, bet it's pretty good, it's honestly. Bit, yeah? I think so. Yeah. Now, is it bread and butter pickles, regular pickles? Uh, I have that's the question, yeah. You know? I would want some spicy pickles in there. Really? Yeah. Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah. The Hippos came into the tournament a 10 seed, but have since pulled upsets over several tournament favorites. They've advanced past the likes of North Dakota's Kenmare Honkers, the <laughs> two-seeded sure. Tarpon Springs Spongers. Wow, I haven't heard of these. Spongers, I'm guessing. Sponge <laughs> or I like the Spongers, too. One day there's a sign that's by the snacks. Exactly. One per, yeah. person, one per, per person. person. One per day. Yeah. That's all you need, a little regulation. Yeah. You don't need to tell anybody. Come on, you made don't that be thing. rude. Have some manners. <laughs> exactly. Come on. Yeah. 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 That stuff Come is on. for Maybe here. Sharing is work. Caring. Time now, 627. We will have more good day ahead after this break. All right. Well, you might set your recyclable items out each week to do your part in protecting the environment. But what about larger or hazardous items? In this week's Jane's Jobs, I get the inside scoop on the Austin Recycle and Reuse Drop-Off Center. Reduce. Reuse. Recycle. Words literally taken to heart by employees of the Austin Recycle and Reuse Drop-Off Center. They gathered 10 million pounds of reusable items from Austin residents just last year alone. We are trying to really uh, increase our recycling numbers and our reuse numbers to try to uh, prevent stuff from going to the landfill. The city of Austin hopes to achieve a zero waste initiative by the year 2040, meaning they wish to eliminate 90% of items that normally head to a landfill. And that's where the center comes in. They accept items not normally permitted in your regular curbside pickup. One of those items, styrofoam. Styrofoam is a uh, real popular product that is a real, real versatile for uh, packaging, for insulation and all that, but it doesn't really break down in landfills. It takes a really long time. The styrofoam gets grinded down to something that looks similar to Laffy Taffy. It hardens and can be used to make a variety of plastics. Have a bunch of boxes? The center takes those too, but they ask that you break them down. So once this fills up a little bit, it'll run a cycle and then it'll do the whole thing over again. Compact till it gets full and they'll do that for 120,000 pounds a month. And then there's the issue of paint. 
You buy it for a splash of color, but what about all that's left over in the can? What we do here is open up every single can of latex paint that comes in. Um, they'll decide, we'll decide whether it's uh, good or bad, and if it's good, we'll try to take a look at what color is inside. And if it's good, the paint is mixed together to create a repurposed latex paint available completely free for residents inside the reuse center. The center is a gem for residents hoping to reduce their environmental footprint one recyclable at a time. Well, that's the only world we got, right? So should probably try to take care of it. Now, the center hopes to increase their collection goal to 14 million pounds for 2019. Drop-off is free for Austin and Travis County residents. For a list of accepted items, you can head to their website, austintexas.gov slash drop-off.